Hello internet world. Welcome to my review of the Majority Audio D40 Bluetooth bookshelf speakers. These were very kindly sent in to me free of charge by the manufacturer. No money's changed hands. They haven't asked me to say anything in particular. I'm simply sharing my opinion with you so you can make an informed buying decision. So let's start off with a look at the box contents. Obviously you get the two speakers themselves and you also get some instructions. So a nice user manual included. We've also got some information about the warranty and also about how to stay connected with their support. We also get a really nice remote control, very simple in the functions it offers, but these are indeed just powered speakers. You need volume up and down. You can also switch between modes with the mode button here because these speakers actually have Bluetooth, USB, AUX and SD memory card playback. So really nice little remote control for all of the functions. We get a power cable with a three pin UK plug, figure eight adapter on this end. And we also get some audio cables. So we get a three and a half mil to three and a half mil auxiliary cable. We also get a three and a half mil to two phono RCA, so a stereo pair. And we get some batteries, two AAA batteries for the remote control. Then we get the two speakers. They're very slightly different because one is powered, this one here, and one is passive. Let's take a look at the passive one first. I've left the protective film on the front because these are a nice high gloss finish, like a really polished finish. I wanted to show you that when these come straight out of the box, majority do pack these with this film on the front to protect it from sort of scratches and marks. This particular speaker, if we turn it round, is a little bit different to this one. It's got one captive cable coming out of the back with a uh, phono or RCA type plug on the other end and this connects it to the other speaker. There's also a little base port on here as well and a nice wooden cabinet with this sort of black ash finish. Now if we take a look at this one obviously identical array of uh, main driver and tweeter on the front. We've got the little receiver here for the remote control. The same plastic front but you can see this gloss finish it does show fingerprints and dust that's the one unfortunate thing. There's also little padded feet on the bottom, the same type of cabinet, but on this side here, because this is the powered speaker, we've got a mode button, little LED light that lights up depending upon which mode you're in. We've also got volume up and down and track skip buttons, and also a headphone socket as well. That's really nice having the headphone socket on these. And if we turn this round on the back, you will see the same array as on this one. We've got the, the base port, but then we've got all of these other controls. So we've got the connection to the left speaker. Remember I showed you this cable here. This is where the left speaker plugs in on the back of this speaker. We've got the main on off switch. We've got the input for that power cable. And then we've also got an optical connection. We've got an auxiliary connection. We've got USB connections. You could put a USB thumb drive in here and it would play back audio from the thumb drive. We've also got a micro SD card slot. So again, micro SD card in here, full of music files, and it plays them back exceptionally well. Now, the audio that these speakers produce is absolutely fantastic. We've got a really good tonal range to these. And at all but the very highest volumes, they sound really good. When you really start pushing them, you get a tiny bit of distortion creeping in and a little bit of sort of, um, not cabinet resonance so much, but you know they're in like a, a smaller cabinet. Now, that's not a bad thing. They come in at a really good price point, so you can accept those sort of little shortfalls when it comes to really high-end, loud music. But for the most part, for a decent pair of no-fuss, no-frills bookshelf speakers, they really do deliver. And at this price point, they are really a very, very good buy. If you want to pick up a pair of these for yourself, please do check out the links down in the video description. If you enjoyed my video, hit that like button and leave me some comments in the comments section below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in another video very, very soon.